my name's Jade Marie. Today I'm going to be reading you a story that I wrote especially for you. It's a story all about working together, being very kind to each other and trying not to judge people. It's a story that I hope will make you all smile and it's a story about these characters. This is Cosmo the Crab. This is Molly the Mermaid. This is Mr Puddle the Caretaker. This is Marble. He's a unicorn. This is Float the Fish. And this is Barney the Basking Shark. I hope you all enjoy my story. Once upon a time there was a little mermaid named Molly. Molly had a best friend called Marble. Marble was a unicorn and they both lived on the carousel on Western Supermare Pier. During the day they kept as still as can be as children from all over the country came to Western Supermare to visit the pier and ride on Molly and Marble's carousel. The children would sit on Molly and Marble and travel round and round on the carousel. They would squeal with delight as it went up and down in time to the beautiful music. At night, when the pier was closed, Molly and Marble would jump down from their carousel and explore the rest of the pier. One night, when Molly and Marble were flying around, playing on the machines and eating doughnuts, they heard a cry for help. Did you hear that? said Molly. No, said Marble, his mouth full of big sugary doughnut. Marble was making a lot of noise eating his doughnut. said Molly. Listen, Marble, I think someone is in trouble. Marble stopped eating and stopped crunching the doughnut and listened. Sure enough, he could hear a faint cry coming from outside the pier. Oh, please help me. I, I just want to go home. We must go and help, said Molly. Yes, said Marble. Climb onto my back and we'll fly out and see if we can find who it is that needs our help. As they flew high up in the sky above Western Supermare Beach, they saw a big shadow down on the sand. Oh, please help me. Down there, Marble, look, down on the sand, said Molly. What is it, said Marble. It looks like a shark, said Molly. They landed next to the dark shadow, and as they got closer, they saw that it was indeed a shark. He was crying, taking long, deep, breaths. Hello, said Molly. My name is Molly. This is my best friend, Marble. If you can tell us what's happened, we can try and help you. What's your name? <gasps> Hello, said the shark between sobs. My name is Barney. I'm a basking shark, and I was swimming along, minding my own business, eating my dinner, when suddenly this big wave came along and pushed me forward really fast. The next thing I knew I was on the beach and all the water had gone. I waited for it to come back but it hasn't and now I'm stuck. Do you think you could help me get back into the water? Of course we can, said Molly and Marble together. But I think we might need a little help, said Marble. You stay here with Barney, Molly, and I'll go and see if I can get our friends Cosmo and Float to help us. Hmm, said Molly. That's if they're not too busy arguing. Marble flew along the seafront over the sand towards Marine Lake, where his friends lived. Sure enough, he flew over the lake, and as he did, he heard arguing. I did hear somebody calling for help. Just because you didn't, Cosmo, does not mean that I didn't hear it. Well, that as may be, said Cosmo. But how are we supposed to help whoever it is? And what if it's a big, scary animal that needs our help? You know, like a shark, for instance. Sharks are only scary because people say they are scary, said Float. People say crabs are scary, you know. All those sharp pincers. Rubbish, said Cosmo. Who could 
possibly think such a thing? We crabs only use our pincers for eating our food and useful things such as waving to our friends. Uh, um, excuse me, but could you two stop arguing? We need your help. Oh, hi, Marble, said Cosmo and Float together. Is it Molly? Is she in trouble? said Float, looking worried. No, no, it's not Molly. She's fine. She's with Barney, trying to keep him calm. Uh, who is Barney? said Cosmo. Oh, he's a really nice basking shark who has got stuck on the beach and needs our help to get back in the water, said Marble. Ah! Oh, said Cosmo. I'm not helping a big scary shark. Oh, for the sake of Bubbles, Cosmo. Barney is a basking shark. They only eat plankton. And they are big, gentle giants, said Float, rolling her eyes. Uh, what is plankton, said Marble? Plankton are small, microscopic organisms that float in the sea or in fresh water, said Cosmo. Oh, said Marble. Well, will you help? Yes said Float, before Cosmo could say anything. Quick, Cosmo, fetch my bucket. Cosmo scuttled over the rocks and picked up a small bucket that one of the children playing in the lake had left and brought it back to Float. Float jumped in and Cosmo jumped onto Marble's back. Marble took the bucket containing Float and a little water in his mouth and off they flew back towards Barney and Molly on the beach. Barney had calmed down a lot now, because while Marble had been off fetching Float and Cosmo, Molly had been singing her soothing mermaid song to him. All the creatures of the sea are as friendly as can be. It doesn't matter where you're from, if you're weak or if you're strong. We'll all sing this ocean song and we'll be friends forever. Barney sighed and smiled. These lovely strangers had gone out of their way to help him and he knew that he would have friends forever. Hi guys, great timing. It looks like the tide is coming back and we should be able to get Barney back in the water if we all work together, said Molly. Cosmo approached Barney very slowly and nervously. Uh, do you really only eat plankton? he asked. Barney looked down at him and said, Yes, have you come to help me get back into the water? I certainly have, said Cosmo. I heard you calling for help and I said to my friend Float here that we should help at once. Float rolled her eyes. Thank you so much. It's so kind of you all to help, said Barney. Quick, we don't have much time, said Molly, taking charge. Cosmo, can you go and find some seaweed and make them into ropes? Right away, said Cosmo. Float, if Marble drops you into the ocean, could you gather together some of your friends and we'll all pour Barney back into the ocean? Marble grabbed Float in her bucket and flew extra fast towards the sea. Soon, Cosmo was back with lots and lots of strong seaweed rope, and he scuttled back and forth over Barney, tying knots here and there with his pincers to secure the rope. All done and ready to go, he said proudly, scuttling back. Brilliant, thank you, Cosmo, said Molly. We're ready, shouted Marble, flying back towards them. Float has managed to gather some friends to help her. That's great, said Molly. OK, everyone. The tide is approaching fast. When I blow my magic seashell, I want us all to start pulling. Molly took a deep breath. And as the ocean began to pull around Barney, and she blew into her magic seashell. Pool, and slowly but surely Barney began to move over the sand towards the ocean. He couldn't believe it. He was finally going home and it was all because these complete strangers had shown him such kindness and had worked together. He had never been so happy and grateful in all his life. Heave! 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 
heave, they all shouted with each tug, and with one final big heave, there was a large splosh, and Barney was back in the ocean. Everyone cheered. Hooray! Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've all been so wonderful. I will never forget your kindness. They all took it in turns to give Barney a big hug. They all waved goodbye as Barney swam out towards Steepholm Island. The sun had started to rise. Oh no, said Molly. We need to get back to the carousel marble before the pier opens. Uh, can you drop us back to Marine Lake first, please, Marble? said Float, looking worried. Of course I can. I wouldn't have left you two here. Thank you, they said, looking relieved. Marble scooped up Float in her bucket and Cosmo and Molly climbed up onto his back and off they flew at top speed towards Marine Lake. They said their goodbyes and Molly and Marble flew quickly towards the pier, flew in through an open window in Tiffany's restaurant and over to the carousel. They landed in their spaces and took their positions. Suddenly, all the lights came on in the pier and the caretaker, Mr Puddle, came over and turned on the carousel. Good morning, my lovely, he said, smoothing the painted pictures on the carousel. Nice to see you looking just as I left you yesterday. And he wandered off to get himself a coffee, smiling and whistling to himself. <whistles> Molly and Marble winked at each other, and Molly whispered to Marble, I can't wait until our next adventure. Marble smiled, and they both became very still, and waited for their day to start, and for the children to arrive to ride on their carousel. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed my story. Just wanted to say a goodbye from me, a goodbye from Molly, from Cosmo the Crab, Marble the Unicorn, Float the Fish, and Barney the Baskin Shark. Bye everyone!